Hello everyone, Waffles Play Minecraft here, and welcome to uh, the third part of the Cinema 4D tutorial on animating Minecraft. Yes, and this part I will be talking about rendering your animation out so you can have it in the best quality possible, and hopefully you enjoy this tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, um, first of all, I'm going to open up the project that we made in all the previous tutorials. Here it is. Um, so uh, I set up um, an animation for our Steve character that we had last time. It's basically just like him kind of jumping. I don't know. I, I couldn't think of anything else. Don't judge. Okay. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty stupid, but never mind. We're going to render this out anyways, because I like stupid animations. Uh, so let's get um, let's get into rendering this. So first of all, you're going to set you're going to go into the output tab, and you are going to set your resolution. Now, some people, if you want really high definition, go to 1920 by 1080, but all right, what the heck? What? 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 Okay, um, by 1080, but that will take a long time to render out. Just warning you. Uh, that's why I keep 720 as the height and 1280 as the width. Okay, now go into Save tab. Make sure you have this ticked. If not, that will not be good, and I don't know what will happen if you don't have that ticked. Um, first of all go into the file and choose the location that you would like to save it into. I'm going to save it into my YouTube folder because I have a folder that's called YouTube. Uh, if you do not have a folder that's called YouTube, that doesn't matter because uh, just save it wherever you want. Uh, I'm going to call it animation, which I just had written, but I'm going to rewrite it. Uh, so save it as that. Uh, it's called animation and it's going to YouTube. Okay, now go into the format and choose AVI Movie. If you do not have AVI Movie, you can choose QuickTime Movie, and I will show you how to do that later. Um, once you have AVI Movie selected, go into Options and choose, uh, go into the pop-down menu in Compressor and choose Full Frames Uncompressed. Okay, now if you have QuickTime, go into the Options and choose H. 264 as your compression type. Um, I'm just gonna use um, AVI Movie though, because I prefer it. Okay, here we go, we have our AVI Movie. This is all set up now. Now go into your anti-aliasing tab, and yours will be on geometry by default, but you can change this to best, only if you have a good quality computer. Now, um, what anti-aliasing does is it will smooth out the edges of, I don't know, like edges, just edges in general will be much smoother, much clearer, uh, instead of like all those pixelated lines that you sometimes get on low quality renders. Uh, you can change, mess around with these, find out what looks the best. Um, I have not touched these ever. I don't know what'll happen. Maybe like... No, no, just whatever. Don't don't mess with those. Uh, ambient occlusion. Now we added this in the first part of the Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, now this makes our world look really realistic and nice. Now what you're gonna do is this will be on 64 and this will be on 10. Now you're going to go into maximum samples and change this to 50 and then go into minimum samples and change this to 8. That will just speed up your render time by a little tiny bit. Now go into global illumination, sampling, make sure this is on low. If it isn't, change it to low, obviously. And there we go. Now you are pretty much good to render. So just close out of this, save the file because sometimes it crashes and that is not fun and I know what it is like to lose a whole project. 
Um, I'm gonna. Tu I turned my shadows off just because I wanted a faster render, and I'm going to shorten my animation to 50 frames just because I don't have that long of an anim of an animana. Whatever. Um. Anyways, so shorten that to 50 frames, and you can go and click on this. This is the magic button. Render. Uh, I'm gonna click it. So I'll see you after the render is completed, and I will show you the quality. Um, see you later. Okay, and the render has just finished, and uh, that took about, uh, let's say, five minutes. Probably five minutes. Yep, five minutes. Um, let's go back into... Let's watch it now, actually, um, because that's all. Let's look at the video here. Whoa, what the heck is that? Um, that really scared me. Oh crap, no, I shouldn't have deleted that. I shouldn't have deleted that, I'm sorry. What? Sure. What? What? Fine, whatever. Uh, I just deleted something really important. Um, but never mind. I'll get it back later. I'm sure. Um, okay, so let's watch this thing. Animation not AVI. Yeah. So once you have your animation, you're going to notice that this file is insanely big for the length of time that it, like the duration of the video, uh, because it's fully uncompressed video. Now, I use this amazing program called Handbrake, uh, the link will be in the description. It is free, and it compresses the video like no other compressor. So uh, you're just going to want to open up Handbrake here uh, once you've installed it. So I'm just going to open up Handbrake. Okay, now you have Handbrake. and. You're just gonna drag your video in, and there we go. Okay, now you're gonna be under the regular tab, under normal. Um, you're gonna uh, the program will detect how large your video is, or at least it should. You're gonna tick web optimized. Uh, you're gonna container MP4. Don't change that. That's bad. Um, video, you're going to change this to constant frame rate, make sure th under the video tab, yeah, and um, leave this as H.264. Now change, actually, sorry, no, no changing, that's it, basically. So yeah, there you go, uh, now just choose where you want to save it as, uh, to, so I'm just going to go back to the YouTube folder, uh, yeah, okay, whatever, there you go, and save it as tutorial, oh uh, no, sorry, I'll just call it animation, and there we go, so there you go, save that, and just click start, and it's preparing to encode, and then it'll encode it. And look at the size difference here. This is the new one. This is the old one. I'm also going to do a video uh, quality test. So, look at this. 134 megabytes for the old one. 
new one. 88.9 kilobytes. Now to give you an idea of how much smaller that is uh, than the first one, let's look at these here. Uh, 91,000. And this one... 141 million. Okay, there you go. You just saw the difference. Now let's do a video quality test. My, there you go. That's the first one. That's the uncompressed one. Now let's do this one. Sorry, you did not get to see that. There you go. Exactly the same video quality and all, um, but 10 times smaller. This is way easier to upload to YouTube. So I believe that's the end of the video. Yep. Uh, I should be making a tutorial on maybe some more Cinema 4D stuff, like text and uh, maybe some wall shatter, I don't know. Let's see. Um, but uh, I'll also be making an After Effects tutorial on 2D intros. Uh, so stick around for that. Also, watch, uh, there's going to be gameplays coming out. Gameplays of Minecraft, because why not? Um, and maybe other games later on, probably other games actually. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, leave a like. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, much appreciated, and see you later.